You know, not all reaction to Jason Collins's announcement was positive. There was a lot of negative as well. Obviously, online comments, posts, Facebook, blog posts, all that stuff. And I'm going to give you two specific examples. One is ESPN basketball analyst Chris Broussard, who went on a, on, on a little bit of a mini rant saying, you know, the Bible calls homosexuality a sin, and uh, this is a sin. That's the reality of the situation. It is like many other sins. Of course, we've heard this before. This is on ESPN. Take a, take a listen to this. Personally, I, I don't believe that you can live an openly homosexual lifestyle or an openly pre, like premarital sex between heterosexuals. If you're openly living that type of lifestyle, then the Bible says you know them by their fruits. It says that, you know, that's a sin. Right. And if you're openly living in unrepentant sin, whatever it may be, not just homosexuality, adultery, fornication, premarital sex between heterosexuals, whatever it may be, I believe that's walking in open rebellion to God and to Jesus Christ. So I would not characterize that person as a Christian because I don't think the Bible would characterize him as a Christian. Interestingly enough, also anybody who commits violence who happens to be Christian, they're also not true Christians, as we've seen many, many times, Lewis. Now, in, there was a, a statement that was released. Um, there, there's, there were a number of statements that came after this. Okay, number one is that Broussard himself put out a statement saying, listen, I was offering my personal opinion as it relates to Christianity. Those beliefs don't impact and they have not, they have never impacted my ability to report on the NBA. Then the ESPN basically dismissed the comments as a distraction. Uh, yes, ESPN did. The NBA did not comment on these comments, saying we regret that a respectful discussion of personal viewpoints became a distraction from today's news. ESPN is fully committed to diversity and welcomes Jason Collins's announcement. Now, I have to say, I don't believe that there was anything respectful about Broussard's contributions to the discussion, right? I mean, his anti-gay views were the opposite of a distraction to me. To me, how people respond to a gay player is at the heart of this announcement. And I don't consider his comments a distraction. I consider the fact that this was his reaction important. Yeah, it's it's important. I mean, on on the scale of uh, insulting and disrespectful, I would say this is pretty mild. Uh, I wouldn't say that uh, this is even in the same ballpark as, as some of the people we interview on this show. Well, okay, he's not saying gay people should be put to death. He's not saying he shouldn't be allowed to be on the team. He's not saying he personally hates people that are gay. He is kind of doing I mean, the thing where— He basically just says the Bible you says stand this is a behind, sin, so I think it's a sin. You, where he's doing the thing which is cowardly in one way, which is to stand behind a so-called sacred text and to say, listen, it's not my view— it's just what the Bible says, and I think that that's pretty pathetic. Well, it's one of two things. It's, it's cowardly or it's just stupid slash ignorant. Right. Uh, we don't know which one. I mean, uh, neither of those is a good thing, but uh, one or the other. So then Brian Fisher, who we know is anti-gay and has been a guest on this show, says, you know, you really shouldn't sign Jason Collins to your team. He's going to eyeball your teammates in the shower, and that would not be good. Here's Brian Fisher. Yeah, Stanford team to go to the Final Four. He has come out today and said he's gay. And this is in Sports Illustrated. He's the first professional athlete currently playing to, who, was, who came out while his career was still in progress. Some have come out after their careers are over. And the question on the, the heading of the SI.com piece is why NBA center Jason Collins is coming out now. Well, the answer is easy. It's the end of the season. Season's over. Well, that's true. Now you, and they've got an entire offseason to figure out what they are going to do about this next year. Now, uh, I will guarantee you if the ownership of whatever team is thinking about bringing him back or thinking about trading for him, and they go to the players on that team and they say, how do you feel about an out active homosexual being in the same locker room, sharing the same shower facilities with you? They say, no way. I don't want that. I do not want some guy, a teammate, eyeballing me in the shower, and my <laughs> wife does not want that. Yeah, the, the wife, I'm sure, is really, really worried about it. I, w I would love to meet the wives of players who are really worried about that. If, 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 if his wife is worried about that, <laughs> there's something else going right. on. If, yeah, if, if players' wives are worried about them being around a gay guy, it, they probably are having concerns about whether they're in a real marriage with their husband or not. That would yeah. be the question. But this is such an absurd argument, right? Because along these lines, listen, you shouldn't have, if you're, if you're a man, 
you simply could not have if you have to have surgery done. You should not have a gay doctor perform the surgery because listen, you're you're lying there. You know you're you're under anesthesia. You're unconscious, and uh, who knows what that doctor might do? I mean, after all, he's attracted to men in his personal life, and there would be no way he could possibly separate that from the fact that he's doing a medical procedure. This is the height of assuming people just are completely immature. Right. I mean, it's it's the dumbest argument I've heard that because he might be eyeballing people, you just can't have him in the locker room, Lewis. It's risky. Well, I think a lot of what's going through the head of, of homophobes is that somehow homosexuals are more deviant than your <laughs> average human being. Right. Uh, they think that uh, because you're homosexual, you're prone to so many other crazy things. Of course. Um, that that heteros are just not that susceptible to. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what's going on, and it's pretty pathetic. And uh, I'm I'm curious to see what happens. Now, the thing is, will he find a team? He is a free agent now. Will he find a team to play on? And uh, there will probably be some PR benefit to the team that does uh, sign him. And I think it'll be interesting to follow this story. But then again, as more players come out, this is going to become less and less of a story. And that's a good thing. That's how it should be. Right.